Hi Skelly. Can you tell me what the planet Earth will be like in the year 2050? Let's see in my magic glass sphere. What would you like to know in particular? Well, I'd like to know how students will go to school. Let's see what I can see in my glass sphere. I see a futuristic city designed for people rather than cars. Cyclists race between rooftops and side transparent tubes that snake between buildings and loop over roads. Like in Futurama. Exactly everywhere people are walking through green clean paths in the city. They go everywhere, even where cars cannot go. So there will be still cars. And pollution. Oh no. Definitely not. All cars will be electrically driven, noiseless and non-polluting. I don't believe that. Electric cars already exist nowadays, but nobody uses them. Maybe this is true today, but... Let me see. In the year 2050 there will be new technologies with which to build more powerful electric cars. What will they be like? They will be quieter and cleaner. But what happens if the batteries run out? Electric cars will have huge batteries which will last much longer than today. Like the high-speed electric Tesla Roadster sports car which you can already buy today for 80,000 pounds. Celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Leonardo DiCaprio have already bought theirs. Cool. Tell me, will there be pollution yet? I mean, it's not only cars that pollute the air, but so many other things. Let me see through the glass sphere. The sphere says that every living thing on Earth depends on heat and sunshine. Plants have always turned sunlight into energy. Human beings will do the same. Are you sure? They told me that solar power is inefficient and too expensive. In the future. Wizard scientists will make nano panels which will be put into windows, roof tiles, and even the liquid paints to color your house or car. And these will be much more productive than today's silicon photovoltaic panels. Wow. So we also will get rid of all those risky nuclear power plants? Not quite. They will still exist, but you needn't worry, girl. Really? And what will happen if there is a nuclear accident? Or a leakage in a plant? Like in Fukushima. Let me see in my magic glass sphere. Well, the nuclear fission reactors that are used nowadays will be replaced with nuclear fusion ones. It sounds Greek to me. What do you mean? What's the difference between fission and fusion? Good girl, a nuclear fission reactor basically cracks the atoms within radioactive elements, splitting them into smaller ones and producing the famous chain reactions. While, in nuclear fusion it happens exactly the opposite, pairs of atoms are forced together, and fused into bigger ones. The same which happens every day in the sun. Exactly. And this process releases even more energy than fission, and can be done with non-radioactive elements, like hydrogen or helium. So we won't have the problem of radioactive waste. That's it. So why don't we do that right now? Because it is difficult to recreate the pressure and temperatures of the sun here on the Earth. But scientists are trying hard. What about water? Shall have enough water to have showers, wash clothes in the washing machines, flush the toilets, etc. Yes, because we will recycle the water from kitchens and bathrooms. Disgusting. I'm not going to drink the water of my toilet. It would be dangerous. Well, you won't drink the water directly from your toilet, of course, please. Don't do that. With proper treatment, water from sewers can actually come back cleaner and purer than normal tap water. I still refuse to drink it. Don't worry. Most of this recycled water shall be used for your gardens or other uses in the house. They say that planes are highly polluting. Shall we still travel around the world by plane, or not? Well, in my magic glass sphere, I see you and your children flying 9,000 meters, 
above the Atlantic Ocean, in an aircraft unlike anything you have ever seen, it is shaped like a huge triangular wing, and carries 1,000 passengers. And discharges lots of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Absolutely not. These planes will use a clean hydrogen fuel made from renewable sources. The only exhaust will be a cloud of water power. And what will happen to trains and buses? Will they be kept in museums as relics of the past? Trains will run on electricity supplied by cheap renewable energy sources, which will make them also cleaner than today trains. And what about buses? Will they be obsolete? Not at all. Actually, new hydrogen-powered buses already exist. These H buses create no carbon emissions and release only water vapor from their exhausts. Tell me, will we need to cultivate the soil, or shall we eat pills instead of roasted chickens? The earth is still overcrowded. How will it produce food for billions and billions of people? Pills? How disgusting! How can you imagine something like that? We will rationalize agriculture by building farm skyscrapers. Vertical farming is already very trendy in big cities. In the future, we will grow trees, plants, and vegetables indoors inside climate-controlled glass-walled skyscrapers, like giant greenhouses. Sort of, yes. They will be especially designed to make use of the limited ground in cities, and since the buildings will protect the plants from insects and weeds, we won't have to use pesticides. Now, Skelly, what else can you tell me about the planet Earth? I will tell you the most fantastic story I have read in my glass sphere. Do you know who is polluting the Earth mostly? Cars, factories, planes. Not at all. It is cows. Cows, really? You mean cows farts? Yes, but not only that. Also, they're rotting manure, or they're belching and burping. What's deadly about those? Methane. Each time a cow burps or farts, it releases methane, which is a gas produced by rotting organic matter. It's a greenhouse gas. A single cow can produce up to 110 kilos of methane per year. So what shall we do? Kill all cows in the world? Again, we can turn a problem into a resource. We can recycle the manure piles on farms and produce electricity to power all the lighting and heating of a large farm building. So the Earth will be saved by cows. Oh yes, the magic crystal sphere is absolutely clear about that.